Hey, it's Hannah here, and today I'm with Angelica of Reward Based Riding. She's a connection training coach and an academic art of riding instructor as well. This video shows an overview of her exercise using continuous feeding to help improve postural alignment, engagement, and suppleness in your horse. When practiced, this exercise should be really short, it's just a few minutes at a time, but it has a profound impact on your horse. I just want to give you guys a larger picture of why I use the feeding techniques that you will see uh, us present in the video, me and Hannah, when I was down at hers in France. So this is also maybe the, the main reason why I find it's important to also do it short time limits because we have a huge effect on the horse, horse's posture. Look at this picture. This is just a young horse. She's, she's three years old, very clever horse. This is an experienced clicker trainer, uh, but uh, we still had some problems with over arousal and extinction burst when she thought she was doing something right, but the rider had a different idea or, or was too slow to reinforce her directly. And she's very exact, this horse is. So not an easy horse to train. And I added in some treating in movement. Movement is, of course, an add-on to calm horse down. And the rider does an exemplary job of treating here in movement and calm the horse down and bring a bit of more of a dressage frame. If you see here, the, the whole top line is inverted. And here, of course, she, she's also not muscled yet. So this is also a reason why we should stay in this too long, because it, it, we, we as always need to build up strength, strength. But I think you see the very transformation. Uh, this is on a, on a weak course. So that was uh, really, we see also the shoulders are the lift. There's a lot of good stuff going on in this picture. So basically where we do start is presenting the treat yeah. from, from treat bag and to the horse. Okay. And with the hands outstretched. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, exactly. Thanks. And sort of, I think of it as, I don't know, a, a bit of a food target, because then we will start to slowly move our hand. And I like to think about it as the horse pivoting around my hand. Yeah, exactly. If you see that I'm moving my wrist, this is usually how I move my wrist. But now we have tried a bit with you, Hannah, and yeah. you did it a bit different. So there's <laughs> really nothing right or wrong here. It's the effect it has on the horse, but usually... What Hannah does now when I tilt my wrist is usually what the horse also does. Yeah. Okay, this is an exercise I do every day and let's see how Hannah and India are going to do it. And can I, can I just show her? Yeah. Uh, feeding with straight hand and as, as straight as head as possible. Okay. And I usually go for this line where the hair grows. I have that as sort of a reference point. And just to eat straight is, of course, something where I feed all the time. And maybe you need treats that are reasonably small, because feeding technique is a part of this exercise. And you want me just to release a few at a time? Exactly. And she's eating really calm, and you can probably have a... Yeah, that's perfect stream. Usually I go for this. If you just feed here, here, and usually the triangle that this part makes up, now we have a very long base yeah. of this triangle. If you shorten the base a little bit, yeah, somewhere there. So it's okay. definitely in front of the vertical, uh, never behind, yeah. but a bit engaged like you would do dressage. You can see if you can ha have a bit higher head with her too. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Because this is the point I'm looking for, this uh, mandibular and the distance here. We don't want it to be, we want this triangle as we talked about earlier. And we want, when we are going to flex them to the left in this case, we want this to open towards this side where I'm standing at. And yeah, exactly. And always end in straight. That's really nice. That's There you had the feeding hands, also really good. 
So really to have a look at here, because here is often where the tension are. And just eating and doing this in while eating has a oh, very nice, now we're really open, really flexes this side. That's what's really good. Uh, as a stretch exercise, if I want to stretch the horse more like a carrot stretch, I often start with them um, eating from my hand, moving towards uh, the hind end. And did you see that I switched my hand over there? And if the horse says, okay, this is much, usually I try to be faster so I can follow them. But if they connect again, we try a bit more. Bra där. Snyggt. Oops, did you hear the pop in the neck? Then we maybe can go and check how that felt for you. I usually try to do what I did now and support them the way back also so that they feel that the treat is not luring them, that I'm actually going to support them. <laughs> so connect with head start eating come 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 i'm a little bit in between the horse's body and the horse and somewhere here i switch to the hand to the other side and just want to encourage what she did there yeah good with her head did you see that with the mandibular so the head is not all tilted that the head actually gets was a bit tilted there but that this happens with a shin that she's actually reaching for the teeth yes very nice yeah nice oh, so much easier yes this good that, that, that's also this uh mandibular thingy see yeah di there you go see if you can help her with that see if you can do to, to get her to, to go this, this way yes rather than this way yeah exactly so yeah give mama finda so yeah Fiend, yeah, there, okay. that's where you want that's to do great. it, yeah. And if this feels like, because you see here, yeah, we want to do it, I mean, with a horse that knows this and that is flexible, yeah, maybe then I can feed here. Okay. But I would not, <laughs> yeah, I would not go for that. I would really do exactly what you did yeah. now, it's like just try it out and, and have that, yeah, sorry. Can I have another go? Yes. All right, are you ready? Turn. Yes, good, Anna. Good. Yes, good. Perfect. <laughs> she wants to evade it. How about there? Yes, nice. So what I'm doing there is oh, was taking it to that bit and then obviously playing. Yes. She didn't want to yeah. end here, but it felt like it was within her range of motion. Exactly. And, as, and then when she got it going straight again. Yeah, exactly. And as you said, when they want so to evade again. it, to play around a little bit to actually stretch that point. Yeah. Yeah, like you would uh, a, a sore muscle or something yeah. like that. Just like, yeah, not too much, yeah. but a little. Because And well, also if you don't, she's never going to... Exactly. And if you do, yeah. And also if we do more, like uh, take a treat that is very, very tasty. And if we do too much, then they often end up much more stiffer yes. the next day. So. so she's actually good because she's stiff, but she's also not that bothered about the treats. So yeah, she's, exactly. She's trying, but not going to yeah. overly push herself. Exactly. But th that's a lot of rider responsibility in yeah. this exercise. And I think playing around with that, also the flexion that we did, Mm -mm. This is a very good thing for her to do. You can feel it. It's been really good to do with India because I can really feel now good. what you've been talking about, yeah. about feeling it in your hand when they, when it's easy and when it's difficult yeah. for them. I feel like up to this point, all the exercises that we've done have been an, either a tricky brain challenge for me and I've been more focused on getting that right, or it's been quite easy Happy for the horse. Happy to hear, yeah. Whereas actually that one, you can really feel like, oh, yeah. that's... That's the point. Like she's pushing it to get the treat, but it's a bit sticky. So let's go back a little bit to where it feels soft and easy and play on that boundary. Yeah, no, it makes sense. I'm happy to hear you say that yeah. also because <laughs> I want you to have this experience. But also, you know, later on when, when you're going to the next level of this, which will happen fast for you, I mean, then you will also like, ah, it's okay, that was the wrist, it wasn't the shoulder that yeah. you feel like. Can you move it to the shoulder? Yeah, exactly. Do you feel? Then you will yeah. learn to get, oh, that's a yeah. shoulder. Prob probably it's not 100%, okay. but you, you will learn to feel it. like, oh, it's probably the shoulder. Yeah. So that's also educated hands. Yeah. yeah. Great. Okay, great. Thank yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want more, the full in-depth videos are available in the CT Club. There you'll learn more about exactly what to look for, how you can work with horses who are grabby, how you can build the exercises into more advanced movements, how you can fix 
things like them twisting and tilting their heads rather than um, flexing, how you can use this exercise in different positions and incorporate mats and things like that as well. The CT Club is our online membership site where you get access to our home study, study courses which contain hundreds of step-by-step -step video tutorials. The Gymnastic Groundwork course takes you right through everything from leading up to teaching bending, circles, lunging, in-hand work, lateral work, engagement, collection, um, all using positive reinforcement and these videos are part of that course. You can also get support in the CT Club. We have a really active forum that is supported by us and the CT coaches. You can join us on Q&As live every month to ask your questions. You can access all the recordings. We have a Facebook group. Um, there's all sorts going on there. If you want to find out more about that, then head over to connectiontraining.com where you can find out more information about us, the CT Club, and you can sign up there as well. You can also find more information in our book. Just go to Amazon and search for Connection Training and um, you can find our book there. It's available in hard copies and paperback or you can get it in Kindle form as well. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.